Well, Happy New Year, everybody. It is 2021, and 2020 is far behind us. And a lot of people, I guarantee you, when you look back at 2020, they're going to look at it as the year that never happened. In fact, they're going to look at it as the year that's the invisible year, as a year that will be blacklisted from existence and act like never, like it never you know, occurred, like it never happened. And, and I'm sure a lot of people will point out certain events in 2020 and say, well, what about the election? What about that pandemic and all that? And everybody will look at those people and say, yes, those happened, but they happened in what we consider the invisible year. In other words, the year that doesn't exist. You don't see it, do you? I, I don't see it on the calendar. It's gone. All I see is 2019 going into 2021. That's basically how people will look at it. They will look at it as the blacklisted, invisible year that you cannot see and will not consider ever existed. But man, when you talk about this year though, 2020, it is a year that for a lot of us is a year we will not forget. I mean, for me, <laughs> for me, if you would have told me that six and a half years in, I was going to get let go from my job, I wouldn't have believed you. I mean, well, I would have thought about it and considered it as a possibility, but I wouldn't have believed you because they loved me over there. They depended on me. I mean, yes, my, my release was my fault in a way, if not mostly. But everybody, including my own family and even friends and colleagues over there, I guarantee you, will come to my defense and basically say that when they let me go, they acted too quickly, that they should have reconsidered and maybe just you know, done a suspension without pay. It would have been better than letting somebody go, you know, without considering maybe other alternatives of punishment, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, for me, it's a year I'll never forget because I was let go from my job. And I'm hoping, and this is the honest truth, I'm hoping they do rehire me because I love being there. But I can also tell you this, nobody believes me when I say it, but I guarantee you this. There's a lot of people that depended on me there that when they showed up and found out I was released, they let me go, that probably right, up, right off the bat was starting to reconsider or consider putting in their notices because they don't want to be working for a company that's going to let somebody go just because of a little mistake that costs less than what they would lose on a daily basis, you know, revenue-wise. Anyway, though, yeah, for me, 2020 is a year I'll never forget. I mean, it's also the year for me that I finally did something with my YouTube channel here, and that's monetize it because, well, I had no other choice now. And now I'm able to make a little extra cash. Even if I do get another job down the line, I'm able to make a little extra cash on the side. But for a lot of us as well, 2020 is one of those years where it's like, yeah, you know, Everybody wants to say that the 90s of, in the 1900s was, you know, the beginning of a new decade and the last year of the, century, of the 20th century going into the 21st. They want to say the 2000s was the beginning of the 21st century. Everybody wants to say 2010 was the beginning of the, f new, of the second decade of the 21st century. You know, they want to look at that. They want to look at the 220s as being the beginning of the third decade of the 2000s. But honestly, a lot of people, when they look at those zeros, they always consider that those zeros don't really count. That those zeros, those 1990s, those 2000s, 2010s, and even 2020s, still are connected to the previous decade or previous century. And a lot of people will look at 2020 as being the same way. They'll look at it as the year that never happened, as the invisible year, as the year that's blacklisted from existence. And that even mentioning it will be like a curse word you shouldn't be saying. But yeah, a lot of people would consider the year that follows as the true beginning of the decade. But 2020, again, a lot of people will look at it as that year that never happened, but also look at it as the year that things had to be changed. Things had to be modified, that life as we knew it changed. And for why? Because some people in a lab in another country wanted to experiment with something and thus they caused near global genocide.
it is a year that we are going to be glad that that after midnight hit early this morning and drawn us into 2021 we'll be glad is out of our lives yeah we'll still have the remnants and the after effects of it floating into the early portion of this year but we know going into the rest of this year that we will be back to the way things were we will get back to normal. We will get back to the way we're used to having things. I mean, can you imagine how the Olympic Committee is right now? The fact that now they're going to, a lot of participants in the Olympics are going to have less time from a yearly basis to prepare for Olympics. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the 2020 Olympics now being the 2021 Olympics? And they have to basically wait or they have less time to train because 2024 will be around the corner. Unless they move that to 2025. The thing is, it's a year that even the movie industry wants to forget about because now you have a lot of, you have almost all of Hollywood, you know, you know, cramming down, shadowing down, looming down onto Warner Brothers and even Disney at times, for some of the, and even Universal at times, for the decisions they've made. Especially when it comes to distributing movies that were originally meant for the theaters. You know, you take a look at the cinema chains, and they're basically, in, and they're basically joining up with Hollywood, looming down, and wanting to basically shred and disembody you know, the likes of Warner Brothers and Disney and Universal for the decisions they've made when it comes to distributing those movies, not just theatrically, but simultaneously, you know, VOD streaming-wise. And Warner Brothers right now is at the forefront of the, of the one entity that Hollywood and cinemas want to just reach down and tear apart limb by limb for what they're doing. And there's no doubt that they, the movie industry of Hollywood, wants to forget this year as well. The point is, 2020 is a year, when you look back on it, is a year that we will not forget. We have a controversial election that even in a few days, in five days from now, we still will not know the true result even though it's pretty much set in stone already in the eyes of a lot of people. But in five days from this video's premiere, we still probably won't know the result until that time frame. The fact of the matter is this. 2020, you are a pain in the ass. And everybody would agree with that. You are a pain in the ass, your year that needs to be forgotten, and there's a lot of people that are going to do so. Yes, there was a lot of signs, religiously, when you think about it, that basically signal that the rapture, the end of times, the tribulation, whatever you want to believe in, is coming. It's coming a lot sooner than we expect. But overall, 2020, I am, I, along with everybody watching, am glad you're out of our lives for good. And let, us not ha and let us all pray and hope we never have another year like this again. Let us hope we don't. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on 2020, which will be known as the, black, as the only year, as far as I know, the only year that will be looked at as the invisible year, the year that got blacklisted, the year that never happened. What are your thoughts looking back on it on this New Year's Day? Comment down below. Have a safe and happy New Year's Day, guys. Enjoy the college bowl games you'll be watching on this day. And I will talk to you all later.